Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will recall circles and other related terms. We will identify the relationship between the measures of a central angle and its intercepted arc. Let us have first a review on circles and other related terms. Identify the part of the circle based on the given illustration. Segment AD is a chord. Segment BE is a radius. Segment AE is a diameter. Segment EB is a radius. And angle ABC is a central angle. Angle EAD is an inscribed angle. Angle CBE is a central angle. Arc CA is a minor arc. Arc EDA is a semicircle. And arc AEC is a major arc. Let us now discuss central angles and their corresponding intercepted arcs. A central angle is defined as an angle whose apex or vertex is the center of a circle and whose legs are radii of the circle. This is an example of an illustration of a central angle. The central angle can be named as angle RAX. The vertex of the angle is the center of the circle A. An intercepted arc is an arc formed when one or two different chords or line segments cut across a circle and meet at a common point called the vertex. With respect to angle RAX, this is its intercepted arc. And this intercepted arc can be named as arc RX. Let us define and determine the central angles and their in corresponding intercepted arcs in this illustration. We have angle ABC and its intercepted arc is arc AC and angle EBC with its intercepted arc, arc EC. Let us now identify the relationship between the measure of a central angle and its intercepted arc. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Given this illustration, the measure of angle RAX is equal to 115 degrees Therefore, the measure of arc Rx is also 115 degrees. Let us identify the measure of arc Xn given this illustration. The given measure of angle XMN is 65 degrees. Angle XMN is a central angle, while arc XN is the intercepted arc of angle XMN. Since XN is the intercepted arc of angle M, therefore we therefore conclude that the measure of arc XN is also 65 degrees. Why? 
because the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Given this illustration, we have arc SR measuring 128 degrees. If the measure of arc SR is 128 degrees, let us identify the measure of angle SLR. The measure of angle SLR is also 128 degrees. Why? Simply because angle SLR is a central angle with its intercepted arc, arc SR. Let us try to solve for the value of x given the illustration. Take note that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of arc BC because angle A is the central angle with an intercepted arc of arc BC. Substituting the given values in the illustration, we will then have 2x plus 10 is equal to 50 degrees. By addition property of equality, we will have 2x is equal to 50 degrees minus 10 degrees, or simply 40 degrees. Dividing both sides by 2 to eliminate the numerical coefficient, we will then have 2x over 2 is equal to 40 over 2, or simply x is equal to 20 degrees. Given the illustration, let us try to solve again for the value of x. Let us first identify the relationship between the central angle and its intercepted arc. The measure of angle A is equal to the measure of arc BC. Substituting the given values in the illustration, we will then have 13x plus 18 is equal to 109 degrees. By transposition, that is 13x equals 109 minus 18 degrees. Simplifying the right side, we will then have 13x is equal to 91. 13x over 13 is equal to 91 over 13. X is equal to 7. Let's have our next example. Given the figure, the measure of angle M is equal to the measure of arc CD. By substitution, we will then have 6x minus 34 is equal to 4x plus 12. By transposition, we will then have 6x minus 4x is equal to 12 plus 34. Simplifying both sides, we will then arrive at 2x is equal to 46 degrees. Dividing both sides by 2, we will get 2x over 2 equals 46 over 2 or simply x is equal to 23 degrees. Since we now have the value of x which is equal to 23 degrees, let us now identify the measure of the angles and their intercepted arc. The measure of angle M is equal to 6x minus 34. Substituting the value of x which is equal to 23, we will have 6 times 23 minus 34 or simply 138 minus 34 which is equal to 104 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle M is equal to 104 degrees. Since angle M is a central angle and arc CD is its intercepted arc, we may therefore conclude that the measure of arc CD is also equal to 104 degrees. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center of a circle and whose sides are radii of the circle. 
An intercepted arc is an arc formed when one or two different chords or line segments cut across a circle and meet at a common point called the vertex. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Let us now check your knowledge. Identify the measures of the given parts given the following illustrations. Do not forget to pause this video while doing the activity. Let us now check your work. The measure of arc EB is equal to 83 degrees. The measure of angle BAC is equal to 98 degrees. The measure of arc DE is equal to 97 degrees. Simply because arc BEB is a semicircle. A semicircle measures 180 degrees. Subtract 83 from 180 and you will get 97 degrees. Number 4, the measure of angle DAC is equal to 82 degrees. For the same reason, arc DCB is a semicircle. The measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees. To get the measure of arc DC, subtract 98 from 180 and that is equal to 82 degrees. Arc DC is the intercepted arc of angle DAC. Therefore, angle DAC also measures 82 degrees. <coughs> Solve for the value of X in this illustration. The measure of angle HFG is equal to the measure of arc HG. By substitution, we will then have 9x plus 12 is equal to 84. That is 9x is equal to 84 minus 12 or simply 72 degrees. Dividing both sides by 9, we will get x is equal to 8. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 8 degrees. The measure of arc HI is equal to 360 minus 120 minus 84 degrees. That is equal to 156 degrees. Take note that the circumference of the circle measures 360 degrees. The measure of angle HFI is equal to 156 degrees. Simply because angle HFI is the central angle of arc HI. The measure of angle IFG is equal to 120 degrees. The measure of angle IFG is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc which is arc IG. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.